Hello Aries, and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin, and today we're going to do your messages from Universe Tarot spread. We're going to find out what advice you need to hear, what's going on with the tarot, what they want to say. We'll do a spread this time with the Energy Oracle cards. We'll see what they want to say, what's going on with you. We'll get more advice from some of the other Oracle cards, and then at the end, Aries, we'll get a yes or no question. So this is all about what you need to hear and what messages the Universe wants to give to you. So, oh, sorry, let's get into it. Um, I also want to say this is general reading, so it may or may not resonate. But if you're here watching this and you're guided to this video, I sure hope that there's a message for you that benefits you in your journey called life. Um, so let's get them out. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, and the High Priestess. So then we have the Queen of Cups. What else? Can we get a few more here for Aries? Show us what's going on, what cards they need to see. So the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and Temperance. So let's start over here. Let me grab the bottom. I usually, okay, I'm being told to do that. So I'm the Hermit in reverse. So something that you were working really, really hard on, stuck. It is not moving anywhere. It is not going where you want it to go. It's not going as fast as you want it to go. You're feeling very stuck here, Aries. And it's your intuition's telling you, um, let's get some clarity on what the intuition actually is telling you. It's, you're going within. You're trying to find your light to see how to move forward. Do we have any clarification on this intuition? Give me some clarity. I usually don't clarify these, but let's just clarify the high priestess. What is their intuition telling them? to let go so it's telling you to stop working in areas on what it is that you've been working on so you've worked really hard for something it's been stuck it is not moving forward and your intuition is telling you to stop working on it but you don't want to you've worked really hard you've dedicated a lot Aries are go-getters they're not they don't you guys don't give up you are uh, definitely not the type to give up so we have the Queen of Cups the Hierophant the Page of Wands the Four of Pentacles and Temperance. So right in the middle here, we have the Page of Wands. So this is something that you don't, like you want to move forward with this. You're committed to this. Your heart is in this. You're not letting this go, Aerie. You're holding on to this. You're going to take the patience that you need. And instead of letting go of it, you want to just change the perspective and the way you're going about it. You 100% are committed to this. You're not letting go. Uh, you are still moving on this. You're still moving forward with it. And you're going to take the patience that you need to take in order to get what you want here. So whatever it is that you're working on, the cards are telling you, your intuition's telling you to give up on it, but your heart is telling you you're not giving up on this. Which do you choose, your intuition or your heart? So let's get some more advice and we'll find out what you do here. Let's get some oracle cards. What do the oracle cards want to say to Aries about this? Sounds like you're kind of going back and forth here, Aries. So what are the oracle cards? Oh, that's an early bad spot. We chair. Okay, let's. I'm going to move that next time. Sorry about that. I hit that like three times already. So let's get the oracle cards. What messages do you have for Aries, please? What do you want to say to Aries? The door to romance. Okay. So this could be a relationship. For some of you, this is a relationship that you've been working on. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel, card number 33 and 36. Wow, those might be your significant numbers to you, Aries. Those are significant numbers to me, but I'm not an Aries. <laughs> so, rest and rejuvenation in reverse. We got one or two more here for Aries to... What else do you want to say? What other message do you want? Another card for them. Oh, we have a couple. All right, so let's put them this way. So we have the door to romance. We have second chakra archangel Ariel. We have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. We have the thinking woman. We have the goddess of the moon. And we have a storm warning here, Aries. So, first thing I want to say is if you're struggling with your intuition, maybe you're not connecting perfectly. Um, so this is telling you that it's time to kind of go within and really meditate. So this is significant of a little bit of blockage in your chakras. So it's just telling you to do some energy work and do some chakra work because when you're in tune, Aries, and when you're in touch with your connection with your source self, your higher self, the most high, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, you're the goddess of the moon. So you have this, this ability to connect to your intuition. 
But right now, whether you're a man or a woman, you're overthinking things and you're creating this storm. So you're creating a storm for yourself, basically, by overthinking. I want to get clarity on this door to romance. Is this new romance? This is the stuff. This is romance. So this relationship, this is a romantic relationship here that we're talking about. So I'm sorry if this, if you're not in a relationship, this reading is not for you. So you're feeling very stuck and your intuition's telling you to leave, but your heart doesn't want to leave. So that's where you are right now. And you're overthinking everything, which is going to create a storm. So the cards are just warning you and telling you here, Aries, to really release your blockages and meditate and go within to make this decision because thinking overthinking makes everything worse, right? It doesn't make things better. Silencing your mind is how you get the decisions made and how you figure out how you want to move forward. Um, and you definitely have a really big decision here. Um, and you don't know what to do. You're really caught. So let's see what the cards say. This, so what do you have to surrender to Aries in order to make this decision? What does Aries have to surrender to in order to make this decision? Let's get your surrender card. So what do you want to say? What message do they need to hear to help them get through this? Okay, so there's a couple here. <clears throat> yep. That's what I said. Surrender to obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring the clarity and even solve the problem. And surrender to your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage your relationship to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So really try and take a step back here. Don't get too aggressive. Don't make any sudden decisions here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need some water. Um, but you're definitely overthinking the situation and it's creating a storm. So it's an unnecessary storm. So if you stop overthinking, and just silence your mind and settle your mind to help make this decision, you'll be able to better figure out what to do here, Aries. So what is your soul journey lesson card? What card do you have here for Aries, please? What lesson do we have? We'll find out, too, what you, you know, decide to do. There's always free will, but let's see what the cards say. So growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yes. Every situation we can learn and we can grow from. So let's get your Romance Oracle cards, Aries. And then we'll find out. Um, oh, we'll get my card too. So hold on. We have a few more here. What am I saying? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get your Romance Oracle. There it is. <clears throat> Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That negative thinking does not bring you romance. So let's see what my cards... Oh, I mixed my cards up here. Hold on, let me separate them. There we go. Let's see what my cards have to say to you. What message do they have for you, Aries? What do you want to say to Aries, please? <clears throat> okay, here it is. You already know your decision. Now you have to accept it. Sometimes that's the hardest thing because the right thing or what you need to do isn't always what you want to do. So I'm getting here that the intuition is, is trumping your heart, um, but that's not what you want. All right, so what do you decide to do here, Aries? How does this end? What do you do with this person? Of course, there's always free will, but let's see what the cards say. What choice will Aries end up making? So we have the five of pentacles in reverse. We have the emperor in reverse. We have the seven of wands in reverse. We have the three of wands in reverse. And we have the Knight of Wands. So this is an awful... Oh, I didn't even put them on camera. Let's hold them up. This is an awful lot of reversals here. So Aries, here you are in reverse. You're not quite yourself. <laughs> you haven't quite um, connected. You have not fully made your decision. You are really worried about breaking your heart, breaking their heart. You don't... You're just really worried. You're not prepared to drop your guard. You're not prepared to make your decision. You have so much passion for this person. You're in love with them. They're, you know, someone you've you've been with. You don't know how to do this. You don't know what to do. I, in the next, you know, couple of weeks, Aries, I don't see you making a decision. I see you still sitting here trying to move forward, but you're going back and forth. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I leave? Do I stay? 
And really, you have to figure out whether you want to listen to your intuition or your heart. I always say follow your heart, um, but you I can't ignore your intuition. And if there's something that's telling you that it's off, like everything is upside down here except for this, which means you're going back and forth, in and out, back and forth, in and out. And you are not your normal self here, Aries. You're, the air, you're, you're usually in control of things, but you are not in control right now because you don't know what to do. Um, and you don't want to hurt anybody, but somebody is going to get hurt. I think somebody already did get hurt and you don't know what to do. So I'm sorry that you don't make this decision. Um, but let's say you already have it, but you haven't accepted this decision. So, and then the next week or so, a couple weeks, you're still going back and forth in and out. You're not, um, you're not done. You, you don't know what to do. So you're still in this situation trying to figure it out. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you. So let's get your yes or no question. So yes or no, what is the answer for Aries, please? Yes or no. And Aries, the answer for you is no. So that's what I have. I really hope that helped. Good luck in making your decision.